Hey guys, Abdullah here and today I am going to show you how to properly recharge your air conditioning system. Many people are afraid to work on their AC system but this video will take those fears away. It will show you how easy it's really easy to recharge your air conditioning system. We have a set of manifold gauges which tell you the pressure of the air conditioning system which is very important uh, we also pull a vacuum on the ac system and fill up the ac system through this and uh, so you need to have a set of uh, manifold gauges then you are going to need a vacuum pump because we are going to have to pull a vacuum on the ac system we are going to need refrigerant. I will explain how much and what kind of refrigerant and then you are going to need a nozzle to tap the refrigerant. In some cases you might need a digital scale to measure how much refrigerant you are putting in and uh, then anytime you are working on the air conditioning system make sure you are use gloves and safety glasses because uh, if any refrigerant leaks out you don't want to cause uh, frostbite and you don't want to it blind you. You are going to be doing uh, two main things. The first thing is going to be pulling a vacuum on the whole AC system. This draws out any air and moisture that's in the AC lines. The evaporator, the condenser and the compressor moisture will destroy AC system. So this is very very important. Very very important step of you. Skip these steps you are pretty much wasting your time since the moisture is just going to cause a leak in the future. And the second step is going to be recharge your system with refrigerant pretty simple so let's be in. I want you to note that the low pressure connector only fits on the low pressure side and the high pressure connector only fits on the high pressure side. There are two differences you cannot mix them up. You can see here, here is the low pressure side and then we look over here, right down here. This is the high pressure side, it even has an H on it. To connect these adapters, you just push down and uh, slide it over, let's go. And uh, we are going to connect our low pressure, which is the blue line, to our low pressure port right here get our high pressure line here which is the red line we are going to connect it right down here to our high pressure line good now back at our gauges again there are close off uh, we are just going to come over here and we are going to open this up on the low pressure side uh, good and open the high pressure side with the high and low pressure side opened up with come uh, over here you there is no pressure in the system obviously we know that uh, because we recovered the freon from outside freon uh, recovery shop now we can uh, start pulling a vacuum all right uh, the last line we have to connect is the yellow line which is uh, going to go to our vacuum pump you can see my vacuum pump is right here take off that uh, connect our line you don't need to tie it uh, this more than hand tight uh, don't get appliers or something and really crank this down uh, there is a gasket there's a gasket here. Let's go turn on the vacuum pump. Okay. So I'm going to uh, turn on the pump. We can see here nothing has happened yet. I'm going to open up both of these valves and you're going to hear the pump work and you're also going to see this uh, get sucked down. So I'm just going to be focusing right here because this has the vacuum on the gauge even though this goes below zero it does not have the actual reading and you can see we are almost at 30 inches of mercury for vacuum which is exactly where we want to be. 
So after letting this run for a few minutes, there's just about 30 inches of mercury of vacuum. I'm going to close this and I'm going to close our vacuum pump. Now I'm going to let this uh, sit for about an hour and what we want to see is uh, we want to see this stay at 30 inches of mercury. If this stays at 30 and uh, does not leak at all then that means our system is completely sealed which is exactly what we want. Uh, we want a completely sealed system. Okay one hour later and uh, this looks uh, pretty much identical. It looked like nothing at all leaked out. Uh, this is great means our job was done correctly. And we have no AC system leaks anymore. Now that we know there is no leaks, we want to continue to pull a vacuum for 45 minutes. So I'm going to go and uh, turn the vacuum back on. I'm going to open up uh, both of these valves again. Good. And uh, now we are sucking vacuum for 45 minutes. This is going to evacuate all the moisture and air out of the system. So it's nice and dry in there. All right. It's been 45 minutes and everything is looking really good here. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to close off uh, our lines here. So there is no more vacuum. Now we are going to go over here and uh, shut off the pump. The next thing we do is add the refrigerant. If you replace the major component in the AC system, such as the air conditioning, compressor, the condenser or the evaporator, you are going to have to add oil to your system. In my case, I replaced the compressor recently. It came pre-oiled with the correct oil and the correct uh, amount of oil. So now we are going to go connect our refrigerant to this line. So the first thing we will do is connect our adapter right to the refrigerant can. Make sure it's a nice tight and seal. Now we are going to connect our refrigerant can to our yellow line. Okay, good. So now we are going to screw down the adapter which will uh, pierce uh, the can and uh, with this screw down, uh, now we are going to open up our can. So we can purge the system. So with this can in the open position, there is some refrigerant in this lane, but there is also air in this lane. So let's purge it. So let's go start the car. All right, let's go start up. Uh, we want to make sure that the AC is on. We, we are going to turn the fan on to low position. AC has to be on. You want to make sure the AC is on because that means that the compressor will kick on uh, when uh, there is enough pressure. Let's go add the refrigerant next to open the valve on the low pressure side of the manifold gauge. Do not open high pressure side. Now refrigerant is flowing into the system. Now we just wait for the compressor kick on. Perfect. It just kick on and you can see the low pressure side drop down to about 10 psi while the high pressure side is slowly building pressure at around 100 psi. This will increase as we add more refrigerant. Just wait for the compressor to suck out, uh, out the refrigerant uh, from the can. You can look at the watch glass to see any refrigerant comes out.
so i'm going to close this valve up uh, you saw it go down 550 grams out of 820 grams can and the system is completely and properly filled Now let's remove the manifold gauge both high and low pressure valves on the manifold gauge are closed and uh, we are done all right so that's how you charge on ac system let's go check out the temperature real quick look at the 9 degree celsius in this that is beautiful that exactly what we want to wear better that is how you properly recharge your air conditioning system hopefully this video was helpful if it was remember to give it a thumbs up also if you are not subscribed consider subscribing up on the screen are going to be a couple of uh, how to